Hi everyone and welcome back to the Everett of Saba 2025 and my name is Gamuchirai. The Everett of Saba is your free beginner friendly gateway into cyber security. Every single day leading up to Christmas we'll be unlocking a brand new challenge where you get to investigate, learn and help our smart king Malhe's chaotic holiday scam. You get guided learning, hands-on lab, daily videos from your favorite creators, and honestly, it makes cybersecurity fun, simple, and seriously festival. With over $1,500 US dollar worth of price up for grab this year, yep, you definitely want to be part of it. Their prices ranges from devices, certification, swag, and so on they have amazing range of prices that you want to be part of today on day nine we will be learning how to crack password based encrypted file today we're joining say carrot bam who has discovered something suspicious hiding deep inside the best festival company server a pile of encrypted pdf and zip file labeled north pole asset and rumor says this might contain fragments of Santa's master gift registry, which is pretty serious stuff. If Maui gets this information, the balance between both worlds could collapse. Collapse. So our job is to uh, our job today is to learn how encryption works, why weak passwords break, and how attacker attempt to uh, crack these files offline. At end of this task. We will be understanding how password-based encryption protects files like PDF and zip archive, why weak passwords make encrypted files vulnerable, and how attackers use dictionary attack and brute force attack. There is a hands-on exercise where we'll be cracking an encrypted PDF and a zip file, and we'll be understanding why strong unique passwords are absolute essential. In short, encryption is strong, but the password is often the weak link. We are provided with an attack machine, which we're going to start. We have successfully deployed our attack machine. Therefore, we can check this to say we are complete with task one. And let's just open it on a full screen. So we have opened it on a full screen. Now we can proceed with task two, where we will be doing, we will be learning about how attacker recover with password. This you need to learn on your own time to understand everything. What we're gonna be, we're gonna be hopping into the exercise. So let's get into it. On the exercise, we are told to confirm the file type, right? Let's do that. We're going to confirm our file type. So we're going to say CD to the desktop, tab, enter, and then list everything. And then we're going to confirm each file, each flag uh, file type. So we're going to start with the flag dot PDF tab, enter. And then we do see that it is a, a PDF documentation version 1.7 and it, it has one page. Let's do the same upper arrow with the zip file. Zip, enter. Then we therefore, we see that it also gives us information to tell us it is a zip file and we have confirmed it. So let's continue with the next challenge. Now we're going to be doing a dictionary attack first on the PDF um, file on the flag.pdf. So we're going to copy this command, copy it, and then paste it on our terminal. If it is your first time, right? kindly do type out the uh, the command so that you will learn and you understand it much better so we enter and voila we see that we have gotten the password for the pdf uh, file so before we continue let's just go check uh what questions are we being asked so that we understand what are we looking for and where to look at where to look at so the first question says what is the flag inside the encrypted pdf now we know that we have retrieved the password and then the second question says what is the flag inside the encrypted zip file therefore we need to both uh, op uh crack the password for pdf and the zip file for us to get the flag which is inside the the, the flag which side the each each file right so let's continue um just going to go back to the exercise here and then use the password let's just copy the password for the flag.pdf copy it and then let's open the pdf 
we are required to enter the password let's just paste it as we have copied it and then let's unlock and boom we got the flag so let's just copy it and then let's go paste the flag as well to say that we are done with question one so that we can proceed with question two right okay here control v and then check we did it so let's continue for the now for the zip file on the zip file we're gonna first have to create a hash that john can understand so we're gonna say uh, close this we're gonna first have to close this and then we can say zip to john and then flag dot zip then i'll put it to zip hash we're just gonna name our output file to say zip hash dot txt then we can enter then we can list to check if it is created it is created because we see there and then we can reach we just see the zip hash which is not necessary and then enter and there we see it then let's call, proceed now we're gonna use john to recover the password right so let's just copy this command over here copy it and then let's paste it on our terminal and there we go it was pretty fast. We have retrieved the password, there it is. Now, attacker almost never tried to break cryptography itself. That would take millions of years. Instead, they simply tried to guess the password. We have our dictionary attack where we used um, the uh, where we used a huge list of common password, the rocky.txt. It is fast, it is simple, and if the file used a weak password, which we just noticed that the PDF used the weak password then boom it is game over and you saw that we could get we could crack the password that fast this password over here and then brute force uh, or mask attack this tries a combination of character from from all lower cases or letters and number or even a pattern like uh, three letters plus two digit if i take a note the password format they can reduce the search space and speed up uh speed up everything whereby they add gpu acceleration with tools like cashcat and they can try millions of password per second so really encryption is only as strong as the password protecting it and we can see from the files that we have uh, just uh, the password that we just cracked from each file the password are pretty weak let's just copy the password for the flag zip and then open the flag zip and I just extract it and then extract it here and then let's just control V to paste the password and then okay and then show the pass the file and then there is the flag now we can get the flag and there we go we got the flag for the zip file so now we're gonna copy and just pasted it there we go which is a success we have completed today's uh, challenge and for those who want another challenge have a look around the vm to get access to the key for the side quest 2 access through this link we just click there and then you access the link do go try it out because you're gonna learn so, such a valuable information and if you enjoyed this task feel free to check out the password attack room we can say click and if password attack room use a premium account so you can just uh, take advantage of the discount that is currently going on of the advert uh, of cyber 2025 and then you have access to the attack room and that's a wrap for today's advert of cyber challenge we help sir carrot ham uncover the secrets hidden in those encrypted file we learned why strong password matters and got hands on with cracking tools like john pdf crack and zip tool Great job today. Make sure to grab your badge, submit your flags, and I'll see you in the next challenge. Until then, stay festival, stay secure, and happy hacking. Do enjoy your festival, and don't forget to invite your friend on this advert of Cyber 2025. Bye for now.